those currently in detention are facing similarly callous treatment at the hands of occupation authorities. In 2002, Kashmiris were also prevented from exercising their right to freedom of religion and of assembly as the Indian authorities repeatedly prohibited religious gatherings and Friday prayers in IIOJK. It is especially important to remember these facts as we observe the right to self-determination day for the people of Jammu and Kashmir. On the 5th of January in 1949, the United Nations Commission for India and Pakistan adopted a resolution that guarantees a free and fair plebiscite in Jammu and Kashmir to enable the Kashmiris to realize their right to self-determination. Since 1981, the UN General Assembly has adopted an annual resolution on universal realization of the right of self-determination that draws international attention to the plight and the right of, of self-determination of peoples subjected to colonial, foreign, and alien domination. Regrettably, the oppressed people of IIOJK have not been able to exercise their rights. This day reminds the international community, especially the United Nations, of the imperative of honoring the commitment made 74 years ago towards the people of Jammu and Kashmir and supporting their struggle for self-determination. Pakistan will continue to extend unstinted moral, political, and diplomatic support to the people of Jammu and Kashmir in their quest for self-determination in accordance with the relevant UN Security Council resolutions. I thank you. ترجمان دفتر خارجہ ممتاز زہرہ بلوچ کی نیوز بریفنگ ان کا یہ کہنا ہے کہ نو جنوری کو جنیوہ میں ڈونرز کانفرنس منعقد ہونے جا رہی ہے وزیراعظم یو ان سیکیٹری جنرل انتونیو گوتریس کے ساتھ مشترکہ میزبانی کریں گے کانفرنس سلاب زندگاد کی مدد اور بحالی کے کاموں میں مددگار ثابت ہوگی وزیراعظم محمد شہباز شریف اس کانفرنس میں شرکا کو سلاب زندگان کے مسائل کے حوالے سے آگاہ کریں گے پی ٹی وی نیوز سے فی الوقت اتنا ہی